afternoon again, back to winter. And we thought just to be seasonable, we'd uh, stand in front of our local, um, our local uh, tropical corner and uh, actually it keeps us out of the wind today, standing by this clump of bamboo that looks about as cold as I am. Anyway, that's what we always get. You get a warm April followed by a cold May. Nature balances itself out. Now, serious matters. I thought, now first of all, feet on the floor, feet on the ground, listen and look. Come back to the present. Even I forget to do this sometimes, so it's always a very good reminder. First thing, put ourselves in the right position, and then there's a, a chance we might be able to be of use to others. Here and now, in the present, which we've been calling with great familiarity, the presence. And today I'd just like to consider this word presence, which is actually pre sense, isn't it? It what comes before sense. Now then, just think of that. Sense connects us with, with the seen and the heard, doesn't it? Hmm? When I talk about common sense, it means connecting with well, the immediacy of our surroundings. So what about pre-sense? Well, doesn't that open a possibility? Hmm? And what are we really talking about all the time in these videos? the invisible reality that lies behind the seen and heard, the spirit in all things, the pre-sense, what comes first. And really I could end the talk here, couldn't I? Because, well, here we are, back where it all starts from. Pre-sense, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. And this is the world without end. Before it all starts to go wrong. And this is why when we connect with the pre-sense, we immediately feel safe, secure, comfortable. We're on sure ground, aren't we? Like a rock, an invisible rock in this shifting sea of what we call the world. This invisible spirit, the pre-sense, before, just like uh, water starts off with this pre-water, what you could call vapour, and then condenses into water, and then freezes into ice, so I've tried to illustrate how this material world of you and me, this solidity we call the flesh, is really crystallized pre-sense, crystallized spirit. And in this world, because we've turned away from this pre-sense, 
which is the original perfection, the original creation, although it hasn't yet. It's in spirit, it's, it's, it, it, hasn't, it hasn't got itself imprisoned in name and form. It's, it's, the, it's the original perfection, the archetype of what we know as the fallen creation, that which um, is limited. It's the limitless creation, the original limitless freedom from which, which we have lost as we've become progressively more imprisoned in this crystallized um, in this crystallization you see of this original pre-sense. And on the way, as we've turned away from the from the original perfection and got muddled up with separation and hence uh, found ourselves separate from the source of all goodness. This is the origin of all our errors in the human world, the dis-ease that we're struggling with, with this coronavirus, and all the other multitude of ills that flesh is heir to, as Shakespeare puts it so accurately. So, uh, how do we find pre-sense? So simple, my dears. Feet on the ground, listen look so we become sensible we stop just playing silly games in our heads sensible first thing to do become sensible use your common sense as you know, as our parent, mother and father tell us when we're little children which we need even more as we become ever more progressively stupid as we grow up uh, be sensible use your common sense and then, so simply and effortlessly, we connect with pre-sense. And then it's as well that we find the third point that I spoke about a day or two ago, this law of three. And this pre-sense holds us all in balance, holds this duality of this and that in balance. And so we have this wonderful feeling of completion at home, complete. Hmm? Another short one, short and sweet. <laughs> and by the way, one last thing to tell you is that the real teacher in this world is not searching the internet for, for, any, for which character you think <laughs> <laughs> you might get on best with because the real teacher you see as Jesus tells us is this pre-sense and when we find this pre-sense you really don't want a human intermediary except when we forget it who just reminds you to reconnect with this pre-sense and then you have the original teacher which is the spirit which in Jesus' words teaches us all things and the only thing I had to help me make this video was that pre-sense and it's that which gives value to my words and which I hope uh, you'll find uh, of benefit to yourselves. God bless you my dears until another day. Let's just rest in pre-sense.